Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I have a very exciting announcement video. So, it is a readathon. Brie from In Love and Words asked me and three other lovely ladies here in the book community to help her put on the Kindle Clear Out readathon. So, the hosts for this readathon are me, there's obviously Brie from In Love and Words, there is Steph from Steph's Romance Book Talk, and then we also have two bookstagrammer hosts who will keep up to date and post on Instagram, and that is Zay from Witty Reads and Brie from Falling for Romance. I love all these ladies, like all of them are my very close friends, and I was so excited when Brie came up with this idea. I'm just so excited for it. So basically, here are the guidelines. So the main one is you are only allowed to read books that are already on your Kindle your e-reader platform, your Audible library, your Libro FM library. The main goal for this readathon is to read all those books that you have piled up on that e-reader of yours or that Kindle app or audiobook library that you just haven't gotten to yet for whatever reason. I can totally attest to this. I film an ebook haul every single month and I haul over 30 books each month. I have not read even close to all of them, not at all. So this readathon will definitely help you clear out some space on your e-reader or Kindle. Another rule is that you can read this book in a physical format if you already own it in e-reader form or in audio form. We're trying to again get rid of or finally read those books that we have on our Kindle. This includes all of your previous purchases that you have done. So you cannot download new books on Kindle Unlimited during this readathon. So for example, if you read a first book in a series through Kindle Unlimited in this readathon, you can't go immediately and go download the next one. You have to only read books that you already have on your Kindle, which again will help you get rid of the books you already own. And if you keep downloading them, then you're not gonna get rid of the ones that you already own. If I didn't say this already, <laughs> this is a whole week where we only read or listen to ebooks. Only ebooks, no physical books, unless you own an e format also of that book. You can also read it physically. For example, if I already owned an e-copy of Salt of the Sea, I could read it in physical format, if that makes sense. And whenever you talk about us or post about the readathon, be sure to use the hashtag Kindle Clear Out so we can go and give you some love and everyone can connect, I guess, through this readathon. We are starting this readathon on Monday, September the 28th, and we are ending on October the 4th, which is a Sunday. So a whole week to read all of the ebooks to your heart's content. We are going to be also having a live show for this readathon to wrap it all up, and that will be on October 4th, that Sunday, at 8 p.m. EDT on Bree's channel and Love and Words channel. There is also a bingo board here. There are 12 prompts and you can figure out bingo in whatever you way you want. I know it doesn't necessarily look like a typical bingo board where there are nine squares, but you can get bingo from going this way three squares or this way four squares or diagonal anyway. It doesn't really matter. Interpret it the way you want. We're not trying to police you in any way. So here are the prompts for the bingo board. We have read an e-arc. We have vlog your reading experience whether that be on your Instagram story, it could be a YouTube video, whatever you want. Another square is post a TBR video, and then another one is post a wrap up video. And prompt number five is read a book by a person of color. Prompt number six is disability rep that includes chronic illness. Brie and I both have a chronic illness, so that's a huge reason why Brie put this as prompt in here. Um, it's very near and dear to our hearts, that disability rep. I know that disability rep is very hard to come by, in a romance or you don't necessarily know which books have disability rep in them i actually have a whole video where i'm recommending them to you i will link it down below in case you don't know of anything another square is to attend the live show at the end of the week another prompt is to follow and subscribe to all the hosts all of them will be linked down below for you the next prompt is to read the ebook that has been on your kindle the longest which is going to be a very challenging prompt for me because i don't think i'm very interested in the ones that's 
the longest I've owned. I don't even remember what it is. We'll see what that one is for me. Then we have the newest book that you've downloaded onto your Kindle. The next prompt is to read the shortest book on your Kindle, um, which I feel like would be a very fun prompt to do because I bet a bunch of us have little novellas on our e-reader that we haven't read yet. <laughs> uh, that'll be a lot of fun to read. And the last prompt is to write a book review for one of the books that you read this week. Preferably the one out of the bunch that has the least amount of ratings so more people can get in touch with that book and learn more about it. So that could be on Amazon, Instagram, Goodreads, any review platform. So if you get bingo or if you get blackout in this readathon, you will be entered to win a prize. Whenever you get bingo or you get blackout, be sure to use the hashtag Kindle clear out so you can be entered to win and you will be entered to win one of four prizes. The winner will be announced on Monday, October 12th. There's a little bit of catch though. The Etsy shop has to be able to be shipped to you location-wise um, for it to work for you. So we have the four prizes that you can win. I'm linking all of the people who we are getting prizes from because we're getting them all from book people's Etsy shops. So first one is a pen from Desi's Etsy shop and then Number two is a book sleeve from Jess's bookshop. Peace love books, Jess, she is another option. Number three is a sticker sheet from Bree's Etsy shop, our own host. And the fourth option is an eight ounce candle from India's Etsy shop, who's also a booktuber here on booktube. I'm linking everybody down below. I love all of them. I religiously watch all of their channels and I love all of their Etsy shops. I'm very excited for this readathon. I hope that y'all join all of us. It's gonna be so, so, so much fun. We even have some graphics and those graphics will be posted on my story and and it will be posted as a permanent story on my Instagram page um, for you to go look at and screenshot and use to your own heart's content. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please, please, please be sure to join us for this readathon. I'm very excited for it. Also check out all of the other hosts down below who are also making their announcement videos. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye. <laughs>